Hey guys, it's Tom and uh, back again with a uh, our first haul video for this year. Um, actually, the books that I'm going to show are books that I bought uh, around Christmas time. So I technically, none of these books were, were purchased this year uh, yet. Uh, I do have some other books that I'm going to show. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I haven't made a video in a little while. I've just been under the weather and just been busy with some things. Um, one of the things I've been busy with is trying to reorganize these cabinets of mine that I have uh, some figures in. Um, I took some shelves out to fit some of my larger uh, figures in, uh, like these Shogun Warriors and these Build-A-Figures. Um, so I got those guys there. Move my Avenger shelf over there. <clears throat> I, uh, I picked up... Uh, a toy from my childhood the other day and uh, those of you who follow me on Instagram and I'm on Instagram now and I'm still trying to get used to the whole thing um, I showed this figure um, it's my Baron Karza from the Micronauts this is my Mego shelf um, these are the kiss figures and the hero superhero you know the DC and Marvel guys and that's uh, just a random Star Wars cup uh, but there he is Baron Karza uh, I got to get some lights in here because it's very dark and it's hard for you guys to see anything. Um, so that's what I've been up to. Organizing the tops. Again, it's really hard to see. Um, some Thanos figures and things like that. But um, those of you who watch my channel are here to see the books. So... <clears throat> on with the show as far as the books go so as I was saying uh, the books that I picked up were all picked up uh, before Christmas between 50% off sales and on Christmas Eve I went to a 75% off sale and that was perhaps the most fun I've ever had in a comic shop um, <clears throat> it was just me and another guy in there and uh, it was almost as if I had the place to myself. So I went through everything they had and picked out uh, some decent things. Um, I went back to the shop a couple of weeks ago, about a week ago, as they're still having a 50% off sale and the experience was nowhere near as good. Um, but I'll show you what I got. First, I'm gonna show some books that I've got from uh, in like a trade with KKN Comics. Uh, he and I exchange books every now and then. And uh, he was kind enough to send me Web of Spider-Man number 99. Uh, it's her first appearance. Lois and Clark number one. Uh, I think it has something to do with uh, uh, Superman's son. I don't know my DC keys. Um, second appearance of uh, Phantom X. First appearance of Weasel, and um, I saw this book in one of his videos, and I told him that I liked uh, the cover, and he sent me this as well. Um, Sin Badly, Sin Badly by Joseph Michael Linsner. So thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate it. Uh, link to uh, his channel, uh, Mike's channel, will be there. Next, um, some books I'm going to show you were all fifty cent books. Uh, this pretty much this whole stack here um, so we'll go through these pretty quick I'm trying to put the Eternals run together it's a pretty inexpensive run uh, I forgot how many issues it goes for not very many um, you can definitely get this run done on the cheap uh, so the Eternals number 12 and 13 14 then I got, um, I'm going to try to get the first 10 issues of The Punisher. Um, so I found number two. I also found The Smurfs, number one. Uh, these were both 50 cents each. Punisher, number three. And The Smurfs, number two. I've got to get some new bags and boards. Web of Spider-Man, number 36, and uh, first appearance of, uh, I always get these two guys mixed up, uh, Tombstone. I always get Tombstone and, and Hammerhead mixed up. Um, first appearance of Tombstone. Wonder Woman, number 288. 
I'm a big Muppets fan. Um, I found this mini series in their 50 cent bins. Um, Muppet Peter Pan, uh, number three of four. Number four of four. One of four. And two of four. So those were cool. Um, Mighty Thor, number one. Collector's item. First issue. For 50 cents, I figured why not. This was pretty cool. Nice reader. Uh, early Batman. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have its cover, but it was only 50 cents. And it's Batman number 175. So, for 50 cents, I said, why not? Um, War of the Kings, number two of six. Medieval Spawn and Witchblade, for 50 cents. It's one of those uh, prestige format books. Spider-Man Blue. I've never read any of these, but uh, here's book number one. Punisher number one. As, long, as well as She-Hulk number 60. Final issue. Punisher number two. Number three. And number four. Spawn number 14. 21. 137. Anytime I see Spawn on the cheap, I'm going to pick those up. <clears throat> Same with uh, some of these Michael Turner covers. This was only 50 cents. Wild Storm Winter Special. Shazam number two. Um, Clash with the Black Adam. Savage Tales number one. Then I picked up a, a huge run of Marvel 2-in-1s two two and Marvel Team-Ups for 50 cents a piece. Uh, number 21 and 24, 23 and 24, double, D didn't know I did that at the time, 33, 41, 44, 48, and 26, 45, 49, number 96, number 32, early Spider-Woman appearance, because uh, she's still got that cowl thing going on. 27, 22, so I got a nice little beginner's run on this, 59, and the rest of these I think are Marvel team-ups. So we got number 130, 127, 112, 114, 92, Annual 6, number 60, number 58, 101, 67, I always was a big Tigra fan, number 64 with the Daughters of the Dragon, 78, 108, Also playing some World of Warcraft at the same time. 102. Number 96 with Howard the Duck. 51. 126. And 89. So those are some pretty neat uh, 50 cent pickups. I was glad to grab those. One of these days I'll do some reading. I, I do a lot more buying than I do reading. I'll, I'll say that. All right. Move these so they don't fall.
Uh, this magazine came in at work the other day. I'm very excited for both Iron Fist and The Defenders. Um, and of course, Daredevil Season 3, whenever that comes. Alright. So the next um, batch of books are the ones that I got for 75% off. <coughs> um, so hold on one second. Just want to because I bought these so long ago that I forgot, you know, and my math is not spectacular. So the first book, as you can see, was $17. And uh, got that for $12, like $12.75 off. I wound up spending like $100 on everything. I'm not going to sit here and try to do the math. But uh, almost, I think just about 120 115 something like that for all the books you're about to see. So Defenders 11, Eternals 18, number 19. This was a nice one. Uh, Marvel Team Up number 3, third appearance, third appearance of Morbius. Uh, or 75% off of 18. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number 60. This was one of their wall books. They had $70 on it. Um, I got it for 75% off. Um, it's in really nice condition too. All black. The blacks are really black. No spine ticks that I could see. I mean. Uh, maybe it's a six if I was grading this I guess I'm happy with it um, minor key amazing spider-man number 86 uh, it's got some condition issues but it's the uh, the new black widow costume amazing spider-man 113 first appearance of hammerhead number 114 Second appearance of Hammerhead. Did got a lot of Spidey. Um, One fifty six. Found some Zatanna books for my run. I think I'm done with the run now. After this, uh, number eleven. These gorgeous Adam Hughes covers too. Uh, number eleven. Number thirteen. Brave and the Bold. Uh, number eighty five. Um, it was a d detached cover, but at th th this price, 75% um, off $10, I couldn't pass that up. Um, first new costume for the Green Arrow, Neil Adams cover. I've always liked this book, Dark X-Men, uh, 60s variant. Wonder Woman Rebirth, uh, Jenny uh, Frizan uh, covers. Justice Society, number seven, first appearance of Major Steel. Zatanna, Everyday Magic, that was one of their wall books. I got that for 75% off as well. Zatanna, number one. Archie, 645, just bought this strictly for the cover. I thought that was a neat cover. Catwoman number 77, Wonder Woman 141, just some Adam Hughes stuff, 189, this gorgeous uh, Fathom cover, number 9, Michael Turner, another uh, Jenny Frizon, uh, Wonder Woman number 9, some classic uh, Saturday morning cartoon stuff with Speed Buggy. Another one of their wall books, Wonder Woman 202. I looked at almost everything they had up on the wall and anything that I thought was, uh, was worth taking, I, I, I grabbed. And this one as well, number 195. Batman, number 291. Hell, at $7.50, this book was a great price, um, and I got that for 75% off. Zatanna, number 15. Another gorgeous Adam Hughes cover. 
and the toughest one to get in the run number 16 and they only had three dollars on this book that would have been a crazy stealth buy as it was um got it for 75 percent off of that and we're not done star wars number one i never picked this up when this came out figured now was the time if i sound a little uh winded and different it's just because i'm getting over the flu uh, it's been a rough week. Um, Flash 211, one of the, um, those Michael Turner covers. 209, 208, and then 200, 199, 198. Um, I always wanted to get one of these glossy, you know, hollow foil Turner mm -hmm. or J. Scott Campbell covers. Um, so I picked this one up, uh, Gen 13, the special European tour edition. Got that for 75% off. Monster Frankenstein number three. Forgot how much this was, but again, it was next to nothing. And number 15. Um, Rocketeer Special Edition number one from Eclipse Comics. He had a $20 sticker price on that. Got that for, you guessed it, 75% off. Including slabbed books were there as well. Uh, he had a box full of slabs. And um, this She-Hulk number two was in there for, it was a 9.4. They had $15 on it. And um, I said, shit, for 75% off, I'm going to grab this too. So that was the end of the 75% off haul. Uh, I was quite happy with that purchase. Um, it was worth going out on Christmas Eve day. Thank God it was on a Saturday. I didn't have work. Wife didn't care that I went out because all the Christmas shopping was pretty much done. You know, I told her about it a couple of weeks ago, and I had some money saved. So, um, it was all good. Um, this last bit of books is some books that I got from um, one of my locals, um, uh, Main Street Comics in Milltown. They had a one-day 50% off sale as well. And I picked up Marvel Feature number two, second appearance of the Defenders. The Defenders number four, um, the first appearance of the new Valkyrie. Wonder Woman number 281. Picked this up because it's also got a Huntress Joker story. And 282. Scooby Doo number one. I forgot how much that was but it was uh 50 percent off um i got another one of these uh, virgin variants uh for red sonia the frozen wastes this was number four all-star squadron number 21 i keep buying this book and i can't remember whose first appearance it is uh, Daredevil 58, first appearance of the Night Nurse. Hold on one second. Um, this was only three bucks, and it's a reprint of NYX issues four and five. I mean, this cover for the regular issue, I forgot how expensive it is sorry there's some glare here but um, I had not seen this in the wild before so I picked that up uh, Superman number 238 um, Neil Adams cover and number 240 iconic uh, Neil Adams cover and then just a couple of magazines to close out the hall uh, Bizarre Adventures number 32 and 28 number 20 Marvel preview 23 number 30 
and um, that's it. So that's my first haul for 2017. Uh, technically not my uh, not a 2017 haul, but uh, first video that I'm putting up this year that with some new books in it. So uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and um, a lot of new channels out there with a lot of new content. Uh, the Doom uh, comes to mind immediately. Um, he's got like a video out almost every day. It's amazing how many books this guy gets and great books too. Uh, I think he's from Hawaii and uh, I didn't think there were that many shops out there and uh, he's just making a killing every day. But uh, again, thanks a lot guys for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.